All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we have yet another unboxing, which is going to be exciting, but first, guess what we have now, ladies and gentlemen? We have 720p recording. Isn't this amazing? All right. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to pull out, I got recently in the mail. Uh, I've already gone into it, as you can see, uh, just because, you know, I can't help myself. I have to see, and just to make sure I leave proper feedback with eBay sellers. But anyway, I got this on eBay. For two seventy five plus eight dollars shipping. So yeah, the shipping is kind of high. That sometimes happens. That's why sellers try to recoup some of their cost. But anyway, so uh, basically ten bucks, and we'll see right here what I've got out of that. And what do we have here? How fortuitous! A box copy of Wing Commander Privateer. Now check that business out. Look at that. Now, actually, of course, I've already got a copy of Privateer, uh, but it's the um, it's just the CD of uh, the Gold Edition, which has the Righteous Fire expansion and all that good stuff. Yeah, this is just the original Privateer, which I believe this is the floppy version, which I believe does not include uh, certain voiced cutscenes and stuff like that, and obviously not the expansion. But anyway, I've already got it on CD somewhere else, so I don't necessarily have to worry about that. This is just a box copy to have. Anyway, yeah, but in case you don't know, Privateer is an origin game, Wing Commander series, and this was basically the Wing Commander series attempt at a elite type game, which is an old game you may or may not have heard of. Basically what you do is you, you it's a free roaming kind of game where you get it, you start out with a basic spaceship and then you try to basically fly around an entire open universe of, of like various planets and trading stations and stuff and sort of make your way along in life as either a trader or a mercenary or whatever you happen to want to be and you know upgrade your ship and your weapons and come across pirates and Maybe even take sides and take on some missions from in-game factions. So, this is a game that I've always kind of liked. This, this, I mean, this is a type of game I've always kind of liked a lot. And, of course, Privateer is basically one of the best examples of this. Uh, anyway, and another good thing about this is that you, yourself, if you want to play this game, guess what? You don't have to go hunt on eBay for it. You don't have to do funky things to get it. What you can do is go to www.gog.com, which I will put a link to this in the description, and you can buy it now from them because EA Classics are now on GOG. You can get it for like, I think, six bucks. You can get Wing Commander Privateer. It just is a ready-to-go package. You just double-click it, install it, and play it. And that is amazing. There's a bunch of other good stuff in there, too. But anyway, I'll link to that so you can check that out. I highly recommend you do. Anyway, all right, so let's look and see what we got in here. Now, I am not 100% sure what the original complete contents are, but I'm pretty sure this is a pr about as close to original complete as we can get. There may or may not have been sleeves for these floppies. But anyway, we have one, two, three, four, five, six floppies. A lot of floppies. All right. And we have a nice player's guide. Yeah, see, because before I had the uh, I had the um, just the CD of the Gold Edition. I just had all these on PDF, so it's kind of cool to actually have the original thing. I mean, and look at that. I mean, I've remarked on this before, but check out all that text. I mean, seriously, lots of text. I mean, when's the last time you saw a game manual that was that thick? Probably not recently. Actually, probably never for some of you. But yeah, I mean, this is a good thing. And, it, you know, despite the manual, it's really... Once you figure out the interface, which isn't too complicated, especially not for games of this type, it's pretty uh, straightforward and simple. It's a really good way to get into the elite-like genre because it's not got a huge high barrier of entry. Now, it is a little bit tough in the early stages in certain places, but, um, it, you know, it's a pretty good way to get into it. It's It's pretty straightforward. That's the player's guide. What else is in there? Stuff. Alright, yeah, I mean, I, I really do like these kind of games. Alright, we got a product catalog. And what do we got here? Origin. Now, this would be circa 1993, I think, is when this game came out. I am pretty sure. Yep, right here. 
1993, which you probably can't read there, but anyway, copyright and everything. Alright, so yeah, it's 93. So we got 93 in origin. We've got. Uh, let's see. We've got Wing Commander. We've got. This is Ultima 6 Part 2. I mean, Ultima 7 Part 2. Blah. Serpent Isle. Strike Commander, Origin FX Screensaver, protects your monitor from burn-in, and provides an enthralling entertainment package. It's so awesome, guys, a screensaver. Better than sex. Alright, what we got here? CD-ROM editions of Wing Commander. And whoa, what is this? Wing Commander 2, CD-ROM, with all expansions, and it's $79.99. Dang. That's expensive, bros. Ooh, yeah, I mean, I realize it was everything. It was on CD-ROM, and CD-ROM was kind of a high-end format, but that's still expensive for just one game plus expansions. And here is Privateer itself. It is also 80 bucks, and that's just for floppies. That's not even the Ultimate Edition with the CDs and the expansions, which I didn't even wasn't even out at this point. But and we got Ultima 2, also 80 bucks. Dang, Ultima Underworld 2, which by the by, is also available on www.gog.com. It is also available there, and you should probably play that too. Uh, yeah. Alright, we got Ultima Trilogy 1, 2, and 3 for 60. Ultima Second Trilogy 4, 5, and 6 for 80. Ultima 7 Part 1, 80. Forge, Forge of Virtue, which is the Ultima 7 expansion. 25. Ultima, Ultima Underworld 1. 80 bucks. So, yeah, who? It was pricey back in the day. I mean, I guess if you counted inflation, it, who knows how much this would be? I mean, this was, these aren't even like, you know, collector's editions with backpacks and card decks and dice and all that useful stuff you get in them today. This is just the game with the documentation. I guess those manuals cost more to make than they tell you, eh? All right, we got Wing Commander, which is only thirty bucks. Secret Missions expansion to Wing Commander, which is thirty bucks. Secret Missions Two, which is thirty bucks. Wing Commander Deluxe, which is the whole shebang on CD-ROM, that's eighty bucks. Again, eighty bucks seems to be a good price point for these guys. I guess uh, I guess they could get away with it, not like anybody else is doing anything comparable to Wing Commander back then. Mm, Vengeance of the Kilrathia and Wing Commander Two. Well, we did all that already. Also, eighty, eighty, eighty expansions, twenty-five, thirty. Speech pack, 20 bucks. Clue books. We have clue books for various Ultimas and Wing Commanders. Now, a clue book for the Ultima series would be handy. Wing Commander, probably not so much. But, uh, of course, in this day and age, you can just download PDFs. Uh, and you probably were doing that at the time, too, if you were a pirate type person. But, uh, anyway. What else do we have? These are about 15, 12, 15 bucks for a guidebook, which I think that's actually slightly more reasonable. Quest for Clues. Now this is interesting. They're actually selling Quest for Clues clue books, which sort of look like compilation clue books with tips for games that are not necessarily origin games, including Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, which is LucasArts, Wizardry, Curse of the Azure Bonds, Magic Candle, Police Quest. So yeah, this is basically selling stuff for other people's games, which is kind of cool. Uh, I guess that's just, you know, a publisher latching onto origin. Ooh, what is this? The Official Book of Ultima. Dang, you probably can't read this. Sorry about that. I haven't got the focus totally figured out on this new uh, camera. We'll get to that at some point. All right. Official Book of Ultima, 2nd Edition, 1895. Solutions to every Ultima from 1 all the way to 7. Wow. That's, uh, who? Including Savage Empire, Martian Dreams, and Ultima Underworld, and the Nintendo Ultimas, and the Game Boy Ultimas, and an interview with Lord British, a.k.a. Richard Garriott. Dang. It's like every ult well it doesn't have eight, but I mean dang, that's like every, every solutions to every ultima. And you know, if I ever find I'm gonna look for that I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna keep my eye out. I'll probably never find a copy of that, but dang, that'd be a sweet book to have. 
every Ultima solution up to seven. Dang, including Underworld. Whew, that is big too. Because there's a lot of stuff in these Ultima games, I tell you. All right. Mm, Wing Commander. Oh, the Wing Commander novels. Uh, isn't that interesting? I uh, <clears throat> have not read those, but I'm almost positive that I know people who have, I'm sorry to say. Um, uh, Wing Commander, Strategy Guide, and How to Order. It's quite simple, really. You fill this out, you send us a very large check, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, and so, ooh, wait a minute, what do we got here? Special time travel offer, both... Savage Empire and Martian Dreams, which are the World of Ultima series, for 30 bucks. Hmm. Now, considering how few those actually sold, I wonder if that's because they did stuff like this where they only put a little blight on the back of the booklet, or if it's basically, at this point, they weren't selling, so they were just trying to unload copies, which is uh, an interesting thing to think about. I don't know. Hope, you know, it would be fantastic if GOG.com, which I mentioned before, if they get these, that would be great, because these are impossible to find nowadays. I mean, literally impossible. You will not find them. Uh, CD-ROM editions, you know, combo packs, Ultima 1 through 6, which is a nice little package I've seen around. Ultima 6 plus Wing Commander. It's a decent pack. All right, what else we got in here? A few more things. This is kind of going over long, but whatever. This is an unboxing video. You weren't expecting me to be practical. Um, Privateer Playtester's Guide. Oh, that's one of those guides where they they get the people who play tested the game and like the people who designed it, and tell they tell you they tell you how to do it. Basically, how they how to how to beat it. I guess that was. Uh, I guess that's considered as a positive alternative to the thing. Hmm. So that's like the second manual, I guess. The people that made the game tell you how to actually play it and beat it. That's an additional 15 bucks. Okay, detailed maps, step-by-step -step walkthroughs, charts. I love charts. We got Strike Commander in here. Also $80, as you can see. Good grief, $80 is just like their price point. Strike Commander... Shadowcaster. Now, there's an interesting little one. That's 60. I need to get me a copy of that. Dang. Pacific Strike, which was basically the World War II Wing Commander, if I believe. Actually, no, that was what Strike Commander was, right? Uh, imagine Wing Pacific Strike is also... What is, uh, what that is? Hmm. And then Wing Commander Academy. This is... Wing Commander Academy is a little spin-off of Wing Commander series, I do believe. Although, uh, people who are more into Wing Commander than I am could probably tell you that correctly. Hmm, the requisite how to install this game in DOS because, yes, it does require its own manual thingy is in here. Hmm, six floppy disks, catalogs. Cool, they have a box contents thing right there, so you know. 20 years down the line, did you get everything in the box? Why, yes, we did, ladies and gentlemen. We did. All right, and we got, what is this? Send your personal information to Origin so we may engage you in mutually beneficial marketing opportunities, in theory. We create worlds. At least they did until EA got a hold of them, but that's a whole other story. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Pro Audio Spectrum Users, you are SOL. No, wait a minute, what does it say? Uh, if you are using a Pro Audio Spectrum, select Sound Blaster at the supported cards list. Do not select Pro Audio Spectrum. Okay, well, that's certainly a handy thing to have in a note, because that, you know, probably would just go and select Pro Audio Spectrum if you didn't know otherwise. But uh, apparently that doesn't work. Install Guide Arata. Boot disk for, you know, basically, if your operating system is taking up so much of your memory, you have to basically get rid of it to play the game. That's uh, yeah, wonderful days of DOS there. All right. Reference Guide, which is the dummies edition of the manual, I guess. Tells you all the little, you know, just quick stuff you need to know how to do. Handy, handy. Prices for all the ships in the game and all the parts and all that handy dandy stuff. That's nice to have. Oh, and then we have what looks to be the reference card, which is what you would refer to when you didn't know what button to press. This is before they just pop things up telling you what buttons to press. It's cheaper just to print it on a card, I guess. 
Well, that and the fact that there were enough buttons to make it worthwhile to print it on a card, I guess. Because you probably won't be able to figure it out until you've done it a few times. Joystick controls or mouse controls. You know, playing this game with a joystick actually isn't so hot because it has a massive built-in dead zone. And it's really kind of awkward to play with a relatively decent joystick. So anyway, yeah, so mouse control is kind of the ideal way to play. I mean, I guess you could also do a keyboard, which people do, so and there's that. All right, and then we have yet another product catalog. And guess what? The prices are yet again 80 bucks. 80 bucks for our Ultima Number 1 and 2 collection, which I do have, and the Privateer collection. Is that the, um... No, that's not the CD-ROM version. We have Ultimate Pagan, which is an awesome game. Silver Seed expansion for Ultima 7. And then what is this? Interactive Movie 1. What the devil is Interactive Movie 1? It says, you have been kidnapped, brainwiped, altered to possess phenomenal physical abilities, and marooned on a strange, hostile realm. You have to escape while learning who you are and discovering what has been done to you and why. Multiple camera angles show your own 3D actor from all perspectives. The amazingly shaded and fully textured 3D figures and environment, fully digitized sound effects, and the quality of the character movement and the intricate detail are so dazzling they might make you forget to watch your back, but don't. Dun 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 dun. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm guessing that is a, that is an FMV adventure game, which I guess they just figured, you know, what the heck, we'll just call it Interactive Movie 1. <laughs> I guess, uh, that's, 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 that's an app name, I guess, for your average FMV adventure game. I've never actually heard of that, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm guessing, off the top of my head, this is a wild guess, that that wasn't particularly a popular hit, I'm guessing, uh, just saying. Yeah. Alright, we got Strike Commander... Strike Commander CD-ROM. This is back when they would re-release re all these floppy games on CD-ROM editions, usually with additional speech pack for, you know, you know maybe voice cinematics or maybe even additional content. Usually just, you know, voice cinematics, stuff that took up a lot of space. Uh, Pacific Strike. And all these games, again, 80 bucks, 80 bucks. Yeah. And they got Shadowcaster again, Wing Commander Academy, and all that goodness. All right, so that is that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, uh, that is all for today. I'm sure it went on over long, considering what we were actually doing, which is looking at the contents of a box of a 20-year-old game that nobody cares about. Well, actually, you should care about it, because it's uh, not only amazing, but like most amazing old games, it has something to do with the present. You know what they say about people. They say, those that do not learn from the past are doomed to repeat it, and badly, which I think <clears throat> I think is uh, something we're seeing today, but that's not the end of there. Anyway, uh, I mentioned last time that I would try to get a copy of Full Throttle together. I still have not obtained a copy of Full Throttle, I am ashamed to say. Um, I'm working on that. We'll see what we can see. I'm not making promises, but uh, one of these days I will get a hold of a copy of Wing Command or bleh, not Wing Commander, I got Wing Commander. I will get a hold of a copy of Full Throttle. Also, a day of the tentacle triangle box, but that's going to be a little bit trickier. All right, anyway. Sayonara, people. I'll uh, talk to you next time you want to engage in seeing me unbox things. You sad person, you.